Hello everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all doing really well. Today, as you can tell from the title, we have a Zara haul and I am very excited about this Zara haul. I feel like in February, Zara wasn't really popping off. Like January was bad, February was a bit meh, but March, I feel like Zara have really picked up this month and they have released some really good pieces and I'm very excited to show you all the things I have picked up. Make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my second Zara haul for the month, which will be coming like midway through because I do like one Zara haul at the start of the month and one at the middle. So make sure to subscribe down below to see that. Follow me over on Instagram and TikTok if you're not ready. I think that's the intro done. Oh, for reference, before we get in, I'm five foot five and I'm a size six. I think we've covered everything we need to cover. We're just gonna get on with the haul. We're gonna start off with this, which I am so glad I managed to pick up. So I basically saw this, you know, like sometimes Zara like release pictures of the clothing before they've actually released the item out for sale. So I saw this and I was like, as soon as that comes on the website, I am buying it because I love it. And then it got released and it sold out like two hours after it got released. And I don't really know why, like I haven't really seen much hype about it. So like, not sure how that happened. But anyway, I then kept checking back and it finally came back in stock, but I had to get this in a large because it was the only size they had. And um, the smallest size they do is a small and the largest size they do, you might be able to work this one out, is a large. So this is a little bit big for me, but I kind of like the oversized look anyway. But it is this cropped trench coat, which I have seen a little bit on TikTok to be fair, but not enough to make it sell out. Do you know what I mean? Not sure how that happened, but I've got it now so we can move on. But yeah, this is the jacket. So it's got a belt on it. It's kind of giving me the Zara viral leather jacket like vibes, but in a trench coat because it's cropped again. It's that same sort of fit. It's got a belt around it. So it's kind of like that, but trench coat and I love it. So this is what it looks like. It'll be easier to see on in the try on clips, but it's got like two buttons on the front that you can do up. The belt, like I said, um, these big like arms with like the cuffs on the sleeve, which, mat the, which match the belt it's got some slight like distressed frayed hemming like on the sleeves and on the bottom of the jacket and then on the top it's got these little I don't know what these are called they're giving me like um like army vibes you know like when you get like or like pilot you know I don't really know what I'm talking about but it's giving me those vibes and then the back looks like this and I absolutely love this this was oh my god this is only $35.99, but I don't think it was. On this tag, it literally says $35.99, but I'm sure I paid 50 something pound for this. So let me just, let me just have a look into that. I literally paid $59.99 for this online. Why is there a tag on it saying $35.99? I want to spend $35.99 on this, not $59.99. Why? Hmm, that's confusing. Anyway, absolutely love this. And then... I'm actually a little bit bitter about that, I'm not gonna lie. Why are they charged me like 20 pound more? Anyway, I then got this skirt to go with it because this is what I saw, no it wasn't, that's a lie. We'll get on to that in a second. This skirt is like a trench coat style skirt and I thought with the jacket this could look really nice and they did actually style this jacket. No, they didn't. Why am I getting all my words in the wrong order today? They styled this skirt with the jacket on the website and it looked really nice. Um, so this I got in an extra small, it was 45 99 so it is quite pricey. Um, but it's got this big like paper bag style waist and then it's got the belt which kind of matches the belt of the jacket but this is a lighter shade of beige than the jacket. But I actually quite like that because I think together it looks really nice having like two slightly different shades of beige but they work really well together. It's got pockets in it which we love and this big zip along the side to help get it on. And then it's just got like these button details down and then it just looks a bit like a trench coat but it's a skirt. And it also has this split detail here which I'm a big fan of. And like I said, together with the trench coat, I'm absolutely loving it. And then apparently like this haul seems to be very trench coat vibes, but like how many different ways can Zara take a trench coat and turn it into an item of clothing that is not in fact a coat, but it looks a little bit like it because we've had the jacket, we've had the skirt, and now we have this dress, which is like a trench coat style dress. And I absolutely love this. And this bit of black here, which we'll get onto in a second, is really annoying me. So let's just, there we go. So yeah, this is a trench coat style dress which I've got in an extra small, which is the smallest size they do this in. And I'm absolutely heartbroken and gutted because this is way too big for me. Like it is so gapy around the top. It was literally falling down. Like when I went to bend down to pick up a bag, the whole like top of the dress came out and they were out basically. Like it was not the vibe. So I'm gutted because this is the smallest size. Like I can't get it in a smaller size. And I love it so much, I'm tempted to get it altered because it's just such a nice dress. So it's basically this like sandy color bandeau dress with this fold over detail. And the fold over detail has like 
uh, loops on it so it kind of looks like a pair of trousers if that makes sense so that's what it looks like and then it literally just goes straight down so like this it's like a maxi dress it's got pockets in it which we love i feel like it gets 10 extra points for the fact it's got pockets in it and then on the back it's like the bandeau again and then it just has this little like detailing which then makes it have a bit of a pleat down the middle there's like a tiny little pleat there and then it's got like stitching detail with slightly um frayed edges like the jacket has and i did actually try this on with the jacket and i did quite like it but then i decided to try it on with a different trench coat that i have which is like a similar color to this and oh my god i love that outfit i think it looks so good and i'm just so gutted that this doesn't fit me and i did actually find that like as we go on throughout the video you will see there's quite a lot of things that i have bought from zara this month that don't fit me and they are way too big for me and I mean I did get food poisoning whilst I was in Vietnam so like I like had nothing in my stomach for about three days but I don't think it would have made that much difference and like I'm not dieting or anything like that I've other than having that food poisoning for three days I have been eating like normal so I don't think it's me that's the issue like obviously I'm not going to think that I'm the problem but like I genuinely don't think it's me I think Zara are just changing their sizing and if they are I'm going to be gutted because if I can't even wear the smallest size of clothing because they've made it bigger, then I can't wear any of their clothes, which I will be gutted about. But anyway, I've got that. And then this is what I was about to talk about. These are the trousers that the coat was being styled with in the picture when I first saw it. And I was like, oh my God, whenever Zara released those two items, I am buying them. So then obviously when they released them, I bought them. So these are the trousers that they were wearing um, with the jacket, like I said. And again, these are just way too big for me. Like I got them in an extra small and they are literally absolutely ginormous, which is kind of gutting. Uh, let me just do the zip up. But yeah, they're like this dark beige color. They're a super wide leg trouser and they've got this pleat detailing. And on the model with the trench coat, these looked so, so good together. However, I then put them on me and I wasn't feeling it. Like in the try on clips, I just don't think it looks good. I think potentially I look a bit swamped and I think that's part of it. Like obviously I got the jacket oversized and the trousers are way too big for me. And I think the combination of that, it just doesn't fit me right. And it just therefore doesn't sit right. So maybe if this fit me properly, it would look a bit better. But on the model, it looked like a 10 out of 10. And on me, it looks like a two out of 10, which is a real shame. Like these trousers are quite nice. I love the pleating detail and then on the back they've got this cool like kind of fold up detail on the waistband which i quite like but they're just absolutely ginormous and these are 49.99 as well so like quite expensive like if you're spending 50 pound on a pair of trousers you want them to be chef's kiss 10 out of 10 cherry on top hitting the nail on the head and these are not that which is a bit of a shame then i ordered these trousers which are giving me like space vibes baked potato about to go in the oven for like two hours like in tinfoil vibes as well but I kind of love these and like I saw these on the model and she was wearing them with like a white oversized t-shirt I think and it just looked so good and I could just like see in my mind these looking cool like I've seen a girl on TikTok before and she had like um like silver metallic trousers on like not like that kind of like this but kind of not and they looked so good on her and then when I saw these it kind of reminded me of that and I thought I feel like this is the type of thing that would look really cool so i ordered them and they just don't fit me that well they're like these metallic like silver jeans which i just saw with a white oversized t-shirt could look so cool but they just i don't think they're the right shape for me like if these are like a mum jean style i think they would look a lot better but they're a slim jean style that's what the tag says and they just don't really do much for my legs i feel like if they were a different shape they would look a lot nicer which i'm gutted about because i feel like these are so cool like but like these are the type of thing you see someone wearing in London, like a really cool girl. Her hair's really simple. She's just got a simple white top on or something. Some sunglasses and like the most basic trainers. Like really simple, but like it looks so cool. I feel like these are those kind of trousers. And I'm kind of gutted. Like I kind of want to see if I can make them work. Maybe if I roll the bottoms up, like roll the hem up it might make the shape look a little bit better or something like that, I don't really know. If you've got any suggestions on how I can make these look a little bit better, then please let me know because I really wanna try and make them work, but at the moment they don't. Um, and I picked these up in a size eight and they fit me really well. Um, so just for a little bit of size reference, that's the size I picked them up in. Then I got this, ooh, no, we'll go with this next, we'll come back to that. This top I absolutely love. I saw someone post a TikTok on this, which is what made me buy it because I think I had seen it on the website already, but I wasn't really that like drawn into it. Then I saw a TikTok on this and ordered it straight away. It's this like gold 
like shimmery knit top that's the back and i've just ruined it i was meant to show you the front first and then show you the back and i've just messed it up but anyway this is the front it's got like this floral detailing on it that's beaded um it's like a glittery knit and it's absolutely stunning and then on the back we have like a little cut out detailing and then it has this like is this string would we call this string i don't know it has this bit of fabric that you can basically tie in a bow at the back and the cut out detailing and the bow it honestly just looks beautiful with some wide leg beige blah, 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 with some wide leg beige or new trousers honestly i think this looks lovely the one thing i would say though is because it's got that glittery sort of knit to it it is ever so slightly itchy like it's bearable but it's not like buttery smooth and silky soft so just something to bear in mind but this is so pretty like i kind of feel like i wouldn't normally go for this like i wouldn't have picked it unless i'd seen that tiktok but i'm so glad i did and i picked that up in a size small and then the thing that i was just about to show you is this which is actually kind of covered in the glitter from that jumper now but it's this navy jumpsuit and i saw this and i really really loved it and i thought it was really cool because it kind of looks like a pair of trousers but just like a really really long pair of trousers so that it's like a jumpsuit because the top of the jumpsuit has like um it looks like a pair of trousers basically so the top of the jumpsuit has like belt loops to it and like a button can we see that looks like a pair of trousers okay and then it has this like white um bit of material underneath which is elasticated so it sits like this and then it just goes down like a pair of trousers so like i've said this about three times but i don't feel like i've got my point across very well because i've not explained it very well it just looks like a pair of really really long trousers and you're wearing it as a jumpsuit like wearing it like simon cowell wearing it really high up and i think it looks so cool it's so easy to style because obviously all you need to do is just wear this jumpsuit like with some white trainers i think this would look really good with some heels as well like you could definitely wear this daytime to nighttime dress it up dress it down i just think it's so cool um and this was 49.99 and i got it in an extra small and it actually fits me for once which is a win 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 we'll get these two out of the way now because they're kind of bugging me that they're just lingering in the background but i picked up these two caps because they've got like slogans on them and i thought they were kind of cool so these are both 15.99 uh first up we have this like green khaki color one which says weekend session um i just thought these would be really cool for like some instagram pictures as well like trying to tie these in with like some green trainers or something like a khaki green outfit with just this with the slogan on top for like athleisure cool girl vibes really like easy outfit to just chuck on maybe like a khaki like leggings and long sleeve top set with like a trench coat and then just chucking this cap on to run errands i thought that could look really cool and then i got this one which i think is my favorite out of the two um it's a black one with white writing that says live more worry less which i think is just quite a nice slogan anyway like it's just a good slogan to live by um but i quite like the font and the size of it and everything like i just love the aesthetics of this um and with an all black outfit just to like pop out and run errands i feel like it's gonna look really nice as well and then i got another top with like a cut open back which i'm kind of obsessed with so this is a white satin shirt and i'm not a big fan of the satin aspect of it i almost wish it was just like a cotton shirt um but i loved 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 the back detail on this so i'm looking past the satin so this is what the front it's got a little bit stuck <laughs> this is what the front looks like so it's just kind of like a simple shirt on the front like crop shirt long sleeve not a lot to it and then the back has this like fold over detailing not fold over like the back has the tie detailing but it's also got like a little bit more to it um whereas that like beaded top was literally just an open back with the bow stuff this has got like it'll be easier to see on in the trial clips but it's got like a bit more to it i actually can't show you this holding up like it just does not make sense but you can basically tie it on the back and like the top bit folds over the tie bit like it's just got a little bit of layering to it and it looks so nice and i'm basically just a really big fan of this other than the satin i don't know if i'm going to keep this purely because i'm not a big fan of the satin shiny look to it but we'll see i just wish they did it in cotton like i said but this was 25.99 um and i got it in an extra small and then i did actually get another shirt which i absolutely love and this one is like a cotton normal material shirt which again oh actually i got this one in a small because i wanted it to be oversized this was 25.99 and it's just like a simple long sleeve white shirt it's cropped again but what i loved about this is that this pocket on this side is a little bit longer than the shirt so the shirt is cropped here and then that pocket sort of goes over a little bit and i love that because of like a little bit of bare skin just having that little extra bit i just think 
I don't know what it is about that minor detail, but the fact that it's just a little bit longer than the rest, I absolutely loved. Like, I don't know, I just love that it's slightly asymmetric because of that, but it's very subtle because it's only like a centimetre longer. Um, so you can wear it done up like this, which is how I wore it in the trial clips. But I have also seen a picture of the model wearing this where she's got a normal white shirt on and she's buttoned it up. And then over the top of that white shirt, she's wearing this one like unbuttoned. So you've got like this two layer of white shirt going on and it actually looks really cool. Like I feel like in my head, that doesn't sound very good. But when you see it, it honestly looks so nice. Um, so there's quite a few ways you can actually wear this. And like a classic white shirt is a staple in my wardrobe. And this is just like a little bit different and a little bit extra to a normal white shirt, but it's not too far straying from the basics that are really versatile. And then I got another white shirt item, which I had high, high hopes for because this looked really, really nice on the model. It arrived, I opened out the box, I tried it on and I was disappointed because it just doesn't look as good as it does on the model. And it just really sort of swamps me. I got it in an extra small, which is the smallest size they do it in, but it just, I think it's a bit too long. It just doesn't look quite right, but it's basically this white um, poplin shirt. And then all around the middle, it's got buttons. Um, so actually, could you, you can't fully like, um, you can't fully detach it because it is joined up at the middle, but like you can have like bits of the middle bit unbuttoned. And this is how it arrived with like most of the buttons on the side undone. So you've got like this cutout detail and that's also how the model was wearing it. So I've just kept it like this. Like I said, this is how it turned up in the box. And I love the cutout detail, but this is just too big for me. Like I just feel like it swamps me and it doesn't look right, which is such a shame because I thought this would be so nice. Like again, it's like the classic white shirt, which is an absolute staple in my wardrobe. Super versatile, but the little buttons on the side so you can make it have cutout bits just made it a little bit more interesting to the normal basic shirt. And that's kind of what I love. Like I love my basic clothes, but if I can find something that's basic, but with a little bit more interest to it, then it's my favorite. So I had high hopes for this, but it's just, it's just not what I wanted, unfortunately. And I am a little bit gutted about it. I feel like this has been quite a long Zara haul, actually. Like there's a lot of stuff that I've got through today, but I've not actually rambled for once. So I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that. The last thing in this haul is this pair of jeans. Now, I don't really like the wash of these jeans. I've never been a fan of like dark denim. I wish these were like a light blue because I feel like I would love them if they were. But I absolutely love the shape of these jeans, which is why I decided to go ahead and order them anyway, because they're a pair of like Palazzo fit jeans. So they're like super, super wide leg. They looked really nice on the model. And to be fair, I do think they look nice on me. Like the shape of them is really lovely but I just cannot see past the dark denim. I really don't like this kind of color denim. It's just a personal preference sort of thing, uh, which is a real shame because I do love them otherwise. And these I got in a size six and they were 35 99 And I just think they're, again, a little bit different. Like they're a basic pair of jeans, but Palazzo Fit just adds a little bit of something extra, which apparently seems to be the running theme of this video, like basics, but just a little bit more than basic, which I feel like is a good way to describe my style and the, like the things that I like. But anyway, like I said, that is the last item for the Sara haul. I hope I didn't whiz through it too much. Like part of me feels like I've shown a lot of stuff, but like quite quickly. So hopefully that didn't go too quickly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe down below so you don't miss my second Zara haul for the month and that you don't miss any other of my videos as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I shall see you at some point soon in another video. Bye.